This year, these are the lessons for Christmas Day. I have a question for you. What would it take to make you feel safe in an unsecure world? I see ADT signs on many people's front lawns, as if that will protect them from burglars. Other people have signs on their lawn that say, protected by Smith and Wesson. <laughs> Although statistics tell us that most people who are shot during a home invasion are shot with their own weapon. Others prefer a big dog, except that big dogs eat lots of food and big dogs mean big poops. Ancient Israel apparently believed that high walls and opposed watchmen would provide security. Isaiah tells us that salvation and security comes from the one who is to rescue us, the Messiah. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 62nd chapter, beginning at the 6th verse. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have posted sentinels. All day and all night they shall never be silent. You who remind the Lord, take no rest, and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it renowned throughout the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and his mighty arm, I will not again give your grain to be food for your enemies and foreigners shall not drink the wine for which you have labored. But those who garner it shall eat it and praise the Lord, and those who gather it shall drink in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway and clear it of stones, lift up an ensign over the peoples, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to the daughter of Zion, see, your salvation comes. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the time of year when we sing a lot of traditional songs. Like, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> Many a pastor has tripped up by picking songs for worship that are unfamiliar to the people. The last thing I would want to do is pick a song you don't know. But yet Psalm 96 tells us that we are to make a new song to the Lord. We give glory and honor to the Lord, who is the master of the universe, and whom we can claim as our God. We read Psalm 96 responsibly. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing, sing to, to the Lord. Lord. Bless his name. Tell him his salvation, salvation from, from day, day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For, For great, great is the Lord, and, and greatly to be, to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor, Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. 
Then, then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord. For, Lord. for he, he comes, comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. Glory, Glory be to, to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and will, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. St. Paul was one of the greatest heroes of the New Testament. Yet he describes himself as chief of sinners. He recognized that as God sent Christ to be the payment for our sins, we have been renewed and reborn through the Holy Spirit. From Paul's letter to Titus, chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. St. Paul writes, But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to His mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit He poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that, having been justified by His grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Once upon a time, a farmer was trying to shoo his chickens into the barn in advance of an upcoming storm. And chickens, being chickens, were not responding to him. In fact, the more he tried to gather them, the more they scattered. And he thought to himself, if only there was some way that I could communicate with them, then I could lead them to safety. Maybe God could temporarily make me a chicken. <laughs> In one of the most poetic parts of the Gospels, the Apostle John describes how Jesus was present and involved in creation. He took on humanity, becoming one with us, Emmanuel, so that we could better understand God. Jesus was not God in a human costume. He was truly divine and completely human. This is the Gospel according to John, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. And without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We can stop the recording now. God has made us his people through our baptism.